Hi everybody, Mark here at Rapid Response, and uh, one thing I'd like to show you today is how we start and go through our upfit. And uh, this gives you a good example here. We take basically everything out of the vehicle. We gut it for the most part, as you can see here. Um, and one thing I really want to show you today is our wire harnessing and, and, and what we use on our harnesses. So uh, some, some people just uh, stick wires up underneath the headliners and push and do nothing with them. And that is definitely not what we do here at Rapid Response. So everything we do is custom wire harness. So if you see this material, it's almost kind of like a Chinese finger trap. If you think about it, if you, it's what it looks like. But instead of uh, the standard split loom that the wires can come out of, which in occasion we still do have to use depending on, on the application. But for the most part, this is the, the loom that you're seeing. So what this does is it actually lets the wire breathe if it would be outside the vehicle. Uh, it doesn't hold any moisture right up against the wire, which is nice. And it uh, really helps with any rubbing or anything like that, so nothing rubs, rubs through. Rubs through. We also have a green tracer in all ours because uh, we've run into problems where our vehicles have been at Chevy, Ford, Dodge, etc., and the dealer had to do warranty work on the vehicle, and they couldn't figure out where the um, uh, orange wire was, you know, in their book, and ended up being one of our harnesses. So this is an easy way for us to tell our, all our customers, so the customers know, so they can tell the dealers that hey, don't touch anything, basically, with the green. Um, braided harness. Um, that's something from Rapid Response. Every vehicle then also gets documented with, uh, with an iPad and in that goes color codes and things like that. So uh, blue for instance is, is something like uh, sync wire. You know, So if you see a blue wire in any of our installs it's for synchronization, yellow is for rear warning and etc. We have a bunch of different colors that, that mean different things but you're never going to find just 40 red wires and 40 black wires on our install. So we take great pride in, into that. On top of that then, as you can see how we have things wired here, you are then also going to have a wire tie placed about every six to eight inches on top of it. Uh, so we really take a lot of extra time and extra care behind what you can't see on your vehicles because we take a lot of pride into these vehicles that when they're out serving public safety, police, fire, EMS, or whatever it may be, that we know this stuff has to work. We can't risk something um, rubbing through. Many of us uh, here at Rapid Response are in some type of those capacities that I just mentioned. So we understand what it's like to be working in the field when something doesn't work because something would have gotten rubbed through. So we take those extra precautions to make sure that doesn't happen. At the end of this then, this gets uh, sealed off with uh, some shrink tube. We do use no electrical tape on our shop uh, on anything. You will never find electrical tape on our installs. And another thing we don't like using either are self-tapping screws you don't find either. Um, we do certain ground locations through the vehicles. Those are generally going to be done with nut, uh, nut and bolt with uh, some type of lock washer on it. So everything uh, is long lasting and little uh, service maintenance in that aspect. So I just wanted to kind of give you a little idea here today. I uh, hope you like what you see. If you have any other questions, uh, like to see any other videos that we can maybe share with you, we'd be more than happy to do that. Make sure you check us out on social media and also subscribe to our YouTube page.